Hello, I'm Marshall Byrne from Protein Metrics. This tutorial explains how to use our preview software to improve proteomics data analysis. Preview is a program that performs a fast initial search of a shotgun proteomics data set to help you decide how to set parameters for a subsequent full search. Preview has two required inputs. A spectrum file here in MGF, MZXML, or RAW format, and a protein database here in FASTA format. There are also some optional inputs. Over here, you set the fixed modifications. This sample was reduced with DTT and alkylated with iodoacetamide, so I will select carbamidomethylated cysteine. You can also type in the mass of the fixed modification. If you don't know the cysteine modification, leave the space blank and Preview will try all the most common possibilities. Over here, you specify the digestion. By default, Preview assumes digestion with trypsin, but you can change the digestion to whatever you like. Here I'm leaving the default settings. And now I'll click Run to start the program. I don't need to tell Preview the expected mass accuracy or the variable modifications. The program will figure that out and report back to us. Preview is quite fast. Here it is running 10,000 spectra against a full human database of about 20,000 proteins. It is analyzing the data in numerous ways, including checking for about 60 different types of in vitro and in vivo modifications. When Preview is done, it pops up an HTML page with its findings. There it is. At the top of the page, you will see a list of the proteins with the most spectrum matches. Lower on the page, you see a scatter plot of the mass measurement errors. Preview automatically recalibrates the mass spectra to remove systematic mass errors. Its recalibration curves are shown in red here. Preview writes out the recalibrated MGF file here, and you can use this as input to Bionic or any other search engine. Lower on the page, Preview reports on the completeness and specificity of the digestion. Here we see excellent digestion. Less than 2% of the 517 identified peptides were nonspecific at the N terminus, and less than 1% nonspecific at the C terminus. Almost 20% of the identified peptides included at least one missed cleavage. Preview counts duplicates. So the 517 identified peptides include less than 517 distinct sequences. There are actually many more identifiable peptides in this data set, but in order to achieve its speed, Preview limits attention to peptides from the 100 top proteins. This cuts down the total number of identifications, but it does not bias the reported statistics on mass accuracy, digestion specificity, and in vitro modifications which are not usually protein-dependent. Biological PTMs, however, are protein-specific, so if there is a PTM that is of particular interest, you should always look for it in the full bionic search, whether or not Preview reports that it's in the sample. Preview's summary page gives a ranked list of the most common variable modifications and how many more identifications we would gain by enabling these modifications in a full search. The sample is heavily overalkylated. We can obtain about 60% more identifications by enabling variable modifications of plus 57 and plus 114 Daltons on histidine, lysine, and peptide N terminus. The sample also has widespread carbamylation, and we can obtain about 30% more identifications by enabling this in vitro artifact. It also has side chain loss from methionine and a number of other modifications. You can also click to Preview's detail page and see a complete list of Preview's tests and results. Here at the top we see all 100 proteins Preview used in its test. And scrolling down we see all the tests that Preview ran. On this sample we see that Bionic found very few biological PTMs, just a little bit of methylation, dimethylation, and protein N-terminal acetylation. I am now running Preview on one more data set to show how much the program can improve proteomics data analysis. 
This sample is from a fungus that causes crop damage and also human disease. And here are the results. In just a few minutes, we recalibrated over 100,000 spectra and reduced the mass errors, both precursors and fragments, by a factor of about two. And most crucially, we find out that there is rampant nonspecific digestion, especially at the peptide N termini. The original publication studied three fungi and searched all the data with a standard fully triptych search. This worked well enough for two of the fungi, but for this fungus, the standard search led to a dramatic loss in sensitivity. The publication listed 26 high confidence proteins, but a nonspecific bionic search informed by the preview search we see here, finds over 500 proteins. Thanks for your attention. Visit our website or send us email for more information.